Volvo. Here it is, the XE90. As you can see, there's two sensors here, one more sensor, another sensor, and then two more sensors. So a total of, what, six sensors in the front? Looking at the wheels, we have 22-inch wheels. I'd say they are aerodynamic, simply from the way that they are made of this plastic covering the other vents. So pretty good on Volvo for doing that. The color is like a light silver. I guess they blocked this off because people were getting inside the vehicle. Um, looking at the mirrors, I really do like the mirrors. It's like a floating glass. And then underneath they have the camera, so I'm assuming for the European audience they're going to have um, cameras to see on the inside whenever they're turning. I guess in the U.S. as well. But you guys might not be able to see that, but one thing I really love about Volvo are their seats how they do a combination of both leather and cloth, and it just gives it a nice look overall. And then as you can see in the center console, it's kind of, it's not stitched with anything, but it's patterned in a way. And then you can see the rotary dial and the wireless charging pad as well. And then they have this white oak almost to accent the rest of the, rest of the front panel that they have. And the back seat as well has that cloth finish to it. And this isn't the only option that Volvo offers. They offer other things as well. And then they also have two seats in the back. So this is, it's an SUV. Let me back up a little bit. It is an SUV. And then one thing you guys probably might have not noticed is that there is this camera. I'm not sure if that's a camera or not right here, but also says Volvo for life. But I know that is the camera that they're gonna be using for um, the lane assist to keep you in your lane. Um, as you can see on the front fascia, there's no grill. Probably one of my favorite looking front fascias from Volvo overall. The lights as well, I really like how they did it. All right, moving to the driver's side, here's what I wanna show you guys. They have like a mini tablet up here for the driver. As you can see, it says, it says Welcome Anna has 380 kilometers at 64% battery. If that's true, that's insane. I don't think that's true, that just might be fake. But as you can see on the display itself, you know, you can heat your seat. It is really hard to see, but there is Google on there and Spotify. Um, but yeah, overall, I'd say this is a pretty nice looking car. You can see them in my reflections. Probably really hard to see. Um, not sure if I can open up the charging port, but this is what the back of the Volvo looks like. Um, as you can see, there are more sensors. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six sensors. So six sensors in the front, six sensors in the back. And then we even have two sensors on each side of the door as well. So that's actually something that you don't see on other manufacturers, so six, six, two, and two, that is 16 total sensors. That is a lot of sensors. And there's actually another sensor right here. So we're at 17 right now. Um, but even you can see right here within the tail light, they have Volvo. It's just a nice looking car. I'm, I'd say I'm pretty proud of Volvo. Hopefully this car does well. Um, I know Volvo has, I'd say, a niche crowd for the people that they target towards or the people who buy them, but I really do like Volvo overall. So XC90, hope you do well. And now we are going back. Actually, there's some more vehicles over here. 